All right, well, I have a quick update on the Hyundai Palisade oil consumption issue. Uh, we just had our next interval check. Uh, so there's four of them in total, for those who don't know. Every thousand miles you bring it in and they check to see what your oil level is. Well, after about 1,100 miles, because it's impossible to get it exactly at 1,000, we were 1.3 quarts low. What's really interesting about this is obviously the vehicle's burning oil, which shocker they say that a quart every thousand miles is within tolerance i'm honestly not sure how a car under seventy-five thousand miles burning a quart every thousand miles is considered intolerance it sounds like what they're saying is we're going through this process this you know these four intervals and hyundai is going to look at the data and say nope everything's good um so i've been talking to some other owners and they've actually been saying about the same thing that Hyundai is taking this information and then saying everything is perfectly fine. Now, there are some exceptions where, you know, they are replacing engines or they are doing maintenance on it, you know, maybe head gaskets, things of that nature. My problem is really twofold. One, I truly don't believe a car with this low miles should be burning oil at all let alone a quart every thousand miles. However, the second problem I have, when the oil was completely depleted, now I mean next to nothing in the engine, the oil light never came on. So the car is not alerting the user if you're low on oil. Now you check the dipstick, which I did a couple of times now, and of course it shows that it's either low or in one case empty. The only indicator to know if this is actually a problem is your auto start stop will start to be intermittent. So what I mean by that is you will come to a light and normally the vehicle will shut off. What will happen in this case is the vehicle will attempt to shut off, but it will restart and it'll kind of chug along and you'll watch your RPMs drop to a below a thousand, kick back up to a thousand, drop back down. And it, it essentially is hesitating, uh, kind of like, you know, in a, an older car where let's say you had like a carburetor or something and it's kind of like, it's it's slowly dying out. It's essentially the same effect, uh, obviously different technology. So really the problem here is that one, I, you know, my dealer's telling me that probably with intolerance now, the first one we definitely weren't. So I'm gonna continue doing this. We have two more intervals. Um, I actually ironically try to drive the car as much as possible only because I just want this solved. Um, the vehicle is under warranty for its powertrain. You know, Hyundai is good about that at least. However, this is just a royal, royal pain in the butt. I'm fortunate that I work from home so I can just take the vehicle. You know, there are people out there that actually work at an office or whatnot, drive for a living, what have you, and they have to schedule time to be able to go to a service station. So I'm curious for those who are watching this video, obviously you're interested, either you're just morbidly curious or you actually have this problem happening. Where are you in your interval check? Uh, what have they been saying to you as you bring it in? And I actually challenge you to ask your service advisor or even just the tech that you know that takes your car, how frequently are they seeing this? Because the first time I asked, they said they had never seen it in a 2020 Palisade. I kind of called BS on. This next time I brought it in, different service advisor talking to them and they said that they've seen a few. Hyundai has denied a few and has also fixed a few. Now that wasn't specifically the Palisade, that was just like, you know, the 2018 to 2023 uh, Hyundai model line, because this is not limited to the Palisade, as scary as that is. So as always, appreciate you checking out these videos. Um, I really had no intention of creating this series, but I feel like one, it's a big issue, and two, it's helping other people, so I'm going to continue to do it. But if you have any questions or comments, or if you weren't aware of this, definitely get it checked out. Uh, please leave a comment below if you have any questions and subscribe and I'll check in the next video.